So hi there again, everybody. Welcome to Dave's Tech Tech Academy's English channel. Today we are continuing. We are going on with this、uh, series of videos on the XR18 from Behringer. This、uh, new mixer that came to us and、uh, that we are reviewing and working on. In this video, I am going to go through the settings on the device. So basically, what I have on my screen. Is some scene, a scene that I've already set up for my live streams and all other stuff. So basically, I'm recording on my previous Scarlett Zolo third gen, the Focusrite、uh, interface, which is great. It's it's been with me for almost a year now that、uh, we've been doing all of these videos and stuff. So basically, I needed to expand and uh, stopped uh, using the ASIO Link Pro、uh, synchronous audio router, jack audio router, all of those、uh, options that you have to route audio from one place to another. In my case, Windows. So basically, what you need to do is、um, you need to go into Veringer's website. You come here. And you need to download the Xer app from Music Drive license agreement. You click I agree to the above terms, and you click download. Then open it, and it will show me、uh, the console. What I need to do. So it loads the previous settings that I had. So basically, I am going to do a clean installation. I'm gonna reset the console. Initialize everything. You will see that everything that you that's right here will disappear. So initialize all settings, okay? And the console has been reset. Then you will see your mixer appear here. If you do not, you can do rescan, and it will show up. If it if it's on the right network, it will show up. This device can work on just two. Sample rates, which is、uh, which is forty eight kilohertz and forty four point one. Nothing needs to be changed. At least I've not changed anything from here. You select the device. Now I I cannot hear myself because I was、uh, sending the focus right to OBS and then to the mixer. So here you have the console has been reset. Everything is. Cleared. You don't see any of the coloring that you could do on the channels and everything. So Samantha is、uh, barking downstairs. Here we have the basic layout of the software. So after all of that madness and barking stopped,、uh, we're back. So when you open, you first open the Mix Edit application from Behringer. You are greeted with this. If you have your console brand new or just initialized the settings, so you have these ten tabs right up here. Going from left to right, you have mixer, you have channel, you have input, then you have the noise gate, then the equalizer (EQ) compressor, then you have the sends, which are very important. Then you got the main channel and all of the assignations and DCA and mute groups that you can. Do all sorts of nifty stuff with it. Then the four rack effect racks. Then the meters, which help a lot. As you can see, seven and eight are coming in to、um, from OBS to the seven and eight channels. My setup. I do connect just two devices. Well, actually three, including the headphones. So I connect my microphone. My condenser mic is connected to channel fifteen. And the lavalier mic, which is the one I'm using right now, but which is connected to the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. So what I do, I always, I always like to be here on the mixer tab. You need to click on each channel that you want to apply processes to, and then you can just go into the channel tab or the input tab or the gate tab. So whatever suits you. First of all, let's do some mic. Setting up. I like to be organized, so I am going to right-click on the channel. Let's first left-click on it to make it 
blue, this this blue halo will make you know or or will be your your cue to know that you're editing that specific channel. So bear that in mind. Then you right click on it and then you at least I like to to call the mics cond mic or lav mic or whatever and then uh, choosing a color. So for mics let's do black on white, black text on white background not to mess up with this coloring although you can change it just right click on channels that you want to edit and then you will be able to change the, the coloring so uh, let's do this and on the effects let's make the effects white on black I like high contrast reverse contrast then we're going to do that same process on the on channel 16 so this would be lav mic and it's going to be white on black again. Now, let's bring this to three. You can even set up the, the values, the, the gain or the level of the mixer by just putting in numbers. So let's do mic at zero. Then we are going to go into the channel input tabs. This is a condenser mic, so it uses phantom power. It's connected into input 15 so we're good uh, what you need to do is enable phantom power on the mic and then you start seeing it the volume going up you have your gain control the mic gain i normally move this all of them have that uh let's see uh, which some level that suits me let's go 45 to get to have more gain uh without clipping so we're good there you have that mic into channel one if we go back into the mixer tab we see that the mic is uh the, the, the mic is uh, is producing sound it's making the, the meter go up this is a, a side note when you reset or initialize this mixer you will get volume down the master and everything else except for the effects groups will be down all the way down so to have audio on the master you need to bring this up now I'm listening into my headphones. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. So normally my master put it at zero dB. We check the levels. I normally do not move anything here on the channel tab. Let's go into the right channel. So here we have the noise gate. Here we have the input. We are good. The values are good. No noise gating. No EQ. No compressor. No sense and main or effects or anything else but you see the mic uh, level going up and down on channel 15. we could go some different routes or routes here normally what i do as i bring audio from the computer you need to after you install the driver you should get this right here uh, unfortunately as i talked on my previous video you unfortunately just get one, two, three, and four by two channels in input and the uh, output or playback and recording tabs on your Windows. So uh, just eight channels, four by twos, that's absolutely bananas. How, how can they ship a driver that will only allow you to use eight of 18 channels? That's, that's stupid. I said, um, I mean, Behringer, come on. You assign the Verringer 1 and 2, or I do that way, and Verringer recording 1 and 2 to playback and record. After that, you can just close out of this thing. And for my channels, I could go two ways here. So let me, as I'm setting up the mic, let's, let's go into the gate tab and uh, set this uh, one. So you need to enable the noise gate by clicking on this uh, button that says noise gate and uh, it will turn blue i am going to add a new source it will be asio xr18 channel 15. you need to be organized then you select the driver uh, that would be the xr stereo let's make that stereo so 15 and there you have stereo my voice double on the video but that will stop right now um now i'm not recording through the love mic but 
the Focusrite Scarlett mic. Let's play with the settings, with the noise gate settings. Uh, normally what I do, I could just move this up. Yeah, I see some, some level, so probably it's recording post fader yeah probably the, there is some some noise coming from the from the computer fan and stuff so let's play with the noise gate settings normally what I do is just bring this all the way down you 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 probably can hear sound so you could fiddle with the EQing and um, enable the low cut which the console happens to have and uh, remove everything from um, infinity or zero hertz to probably 100 or uh, probably the, the the best value is 125 as far as i'm concerned so basically you move this uh thing right here and uh, you go to the desired um level so probably i could put in some uh face but my voice now sounds with a lot of hissing a lot of sizzle so that's because of the parameter that we used here on the on the noise gate basically uh, you could move this right here so the that I'm like getting is a bit removed some EQ uh, you could also cut here on the uh, 3 kilohertz band uh, let's say uh, 297 that's fine um, let's go down to 4 4 dv I don't know if I'm yeah I'm probably on the wrong one this is the one that we need I use high cut uh, this is to remove the the sizzle a bit of the sizzle then on one this is the one that we need so we could bring this a bit down so 204 good value will be three uh, three kilohertz and yeah we're almost at four and if you want to see the my voice uh, and all of the bands the EQ bands you enable the real-time analyzer RTA and there you have uh, my voice and all of the cut uh, the frequencies that I cut so uh, you could probably go up a bit up right here you could uh, drag the this thing did will that will remove a low the lows from my voice and most of the unhearable that you know, notes that are, or frequencies that human ear will not be able to hear so we could play around with this and that and move it back and forth and until you you you're comfortable with the settings the compressor we can we can also enable the compressor uh, so when I scream, ah, did we, that will clip. Then we can move to, uh, let's say, minus 20, which is a good fit for my setup. Remember, your mileage will vary according to your background noise, your mic, your setup. Everything will make these values vary. So these are good, at least for me, you could um, make that minus 30 so whenever I scream oh yeah OBS clicked <laughs> it it went all red but you don't hear clipping I don't know if in the recording you will get that but uh we'll we'll check on that these settings I have not played around with no skate EQ this is my basic uh setup I need to do something here on the sense I use bus group one to send the audio to a uh, bus and uh, I create a mix and uh, let's say I put that in zero you will start seeing the channel modulating and you need to click post fader so whenever I bring this down or up I will be able to control that level onto the final product the final mix that would be all about mic I'm Oof. gonna I'm probably going to split this video into parts I'm gonna pause this and make this basic setup of a microphone a condenser microphone and uh, we'll continue on a subsequent video on the series of the Behringer XR 18 mixer setup check out these videos right here